This time is we took out the ACAP. Yes, Mr. ACAP. President. Opo. Uh, andito naman yung ating LBRM, LBRMO na may institutional memory. Last year ba? Last year ba yung ACAP ay kasama sa GAB o hindi? May we know, Madam, Chair, Chairwoman? Hindi po kasama sa GAB. Hindi nga kasama sa GAB. So last year, wala si ACAP, wala na sa NEP, wala pa sa GAB, lumabas sa BICAM. Okay, ngayon, sa ngayong taon, si ACAP wala sa NEP, pero nasa GAB. Tapos, so improved actually if you look at the if you look at the basic uh, facts improved ang situation ni ACAP because it's now part of GAB so uh, what is the reason why in some parts of the GAB sinunod ng committee natin how come this part of the GAB uh, where there is an ACAP to the tune of ang ACAP kasi is ayuda sa kapos ang kita program to the tune of huh? 39 billion. So, on that point, hindi tayo nag-agree sa GAB. Um, may, may, we, may we know the re reasoning of the committee? Mr. President, this is also in deference to the Vice Chair of uh, the Committee on Finance for the DSWD. Uh, when I spoke to her about this, what she said is she would like to discuss further and to look into what really uh, is the the report on the progress of ACAP? Uh, who has it been dispersed to? Uh, is it really necessary or is this already part of a redundant program yeah. that can be rationalized? So, hindi po nangangahulugan na i-retain or tatanggalin natin. Kasi pagdating po sa plenary uh, at saka yung mga submissions ng mga amendments, doon natin makakita paano na-justify ng finance vice chair yung pagtatanggal o pagbabalik nitong akap na to yung yung 39 billion pesos na budget for a program mas malaki po yan sa budget ng ibang departments tama po tama po tama po actually mas malaki siya sa Department of Foreign Affairs eh. <laughs> Mr. President uh, tama po tama po ba Kahit po sa budget ng Congress, mas malaki po yan. Um, kaya Pero, wag, 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 wag sa atin, wag natin i-compare sarili natin. Let's see sa Department of Foreign Affairs. Oh, mas Para? malaki. Oh. Alam, alam niyo po, talagang nakaka, na, nagul, nagulantangal ang marami. Dahil nga, syempre hindi naman barya-barya lang ito. Ngayon, kung talaga namang nakakatulong, kailangan malaman din natin, no? Paano pa ito nakatulong? Ito ba ay uh, kailangan o umulit lang sa isang programa na... Pwedeng doon na lang natin ilagay, imbis na dito. So, yun po yung mabuti rin maringgan pagdating sa budget ng DSWD. Uh, Pag-explica ng, alam ko naman, very efficient yung ating sekretary ng DSWD. Baka mas kaya niyang explica kung paano ba nangyari ito, uh, paano ba ipamahagi ito. Tapos, malaman natin sa finance vice chair kung ito ay... Uh, tatanggapin niya at ano ang dahilan kung tatanggapin niya o hindi niya tatanggapin. So, doon po sa uh, DBCC and the DBM which uh, uh, drafted our NEP, the NEP, the budget, may we know the reason why they dropped ACAP because ACAP is in the GAA. Eh. GAA 2024. So, alam nila yun. May historical knowledge sila o historical data. But they dropped ACAP from NEP. May we know the reason why? What is the the economic manager's uh, thinking, Mr. President? To, to also guide us. Mr. President, I was just uh, informed that it was not part of the draft proposal of the DSWD for NEP 2025. So, ano kasi pa update pa update yung pa update yung wala na sa gusto. So, sa gab dinagdag po ito. Ah, okay. So ibang process po yun. Okay, update. Okay, okay pa.
Pwede humingi na advice sa economic managers? Uh, is this expenditure, 39 billion peso expenditure, a wise expenditure? Mr. President, according to our Secretary of Finance, it's a wealth transfer, and personally, he supports it. But we will take this up um, uh, more in, in detail when the, the DSWD uh, budget is being tackled. Because, you know, uh, it's a wealth transfer, but because of lack of particulars, we are, we are not uh, clear on who we are transferring that amount to, uh, Mr. President, and there are definite, and there are definitely, uh, siguro more people. Uh, there are definitely segments of society more in need of the amounts than those who are actually receiving the ACA because it is so well defined. Oh well, it's actually, it is so clear nga sa purist of the poor, unlike yung ibang programs na talagang. For peace, you have to be in the registry of the poor households. Ito, subject to. I think, you know, uh, anyway, wala naman siya sa committee report natin, ano, but if ever, it, if, if, if the amount will be restored, then kasama niya yung mga special provisions na kadikit niya, eh. eh hindi rin clear dun who will be the recipients of ACAP. That's, that's the... I agree. We will, we will bring this up again uh, when it when we come to the DSWD uh, budget. Actually, Mr. President, any program that can really be disseminated to those that are deserving and in need, any any time that the government has uh, extra cash or the capability to support them, we we support it as long as it's something that is sustainable. And I understand and I and I agree with the minority leader that. Let us see what the criteria really is and who were the beneficiaries of this. Kasi, sino ba yung nagsabi? Depende kung sino ka naka-standby sa, sa munisipi. Yun but lang yung nagbigyan, so. di ba? Parang kung, kung hindi mo alam, katulad ng si, sabi ni Senator Alan, kung hindi mo alam, hindi mo makukuha. So, dapat malaman ng ating mga kababayan na lahat kung may mga programang bago ang gobyerno. Yun lang naman. That's why, yes, this, this representation appreciates the decision of the committee led by our chairwoman not to not to include it in our committee report. So, thank you for lack, for lack of uh, clear justification and details. Before we leave this um, point, ah, yes, yes, sir. Um, with the permission of the minority leader, for the record, may I ask, um, Ang English ba ng ayuda wealth transfer? No, is that how the economic team views ayuda programs of the government as a wealth transfer mechanism? Mr. President, it, it's partially true because it's uh, transferring wealth to the poor. There are, there are certain... Um, or, or lower middle class. Kasi nga, di ba, it's wealth because I guess it's it's an asset that we have, uh, cash uh, reserves or whatever, uh, and the allocation of which we transferred. So If it's wealth transfer in part, what is the other part? In part lang kamoy, eh. what is the other part of Ayuda? If it's not just wealth transfer. So there are other means, uh, uh, free education, um, health uh, assistance. So they're not necessarily wealth transfers, but uh, they are still assistance. So, so wealth transfer so the, so the, would only refer to cash transfers? Yes, Mr. President. Not to transfers or assistance that are in kind. For now, that's a loose, loose definition. Health assistance, mm -hmm. they're not viewed as wealth transfer mechanisms of the administration. Y yes, not necessarily. So it's, it's a loose definition. But, but basically what we're saying is it's something that we are imparting, uh, sharing, 
also na makarating dun sa ating mga kababayan. Thank you, distinguished sponsor. One, um, 1% of GDP. Um, minority leader, 